So let's get started with service providers. In the last episode, I told you and explained you about service containers. But what is service provider and how this came into action? So first thing, what is bootstrapped? Bootstrapped in the last episode I have also explained you means registering events, middlewares, routes, etc. and creating a whole application ready for you. So while bootstrapping, we need various services and services are added to the service container by service provider. I'm repeating services are added to service container by service provider. So service provider are the central place to configure your application. Each and every service on your application is delivered to Laravel to the service container via service provider. Service providers are just a simple PHP class but these class are loaded for every request. Some are deferred. We will see what deferred is. But all the service providers are available at one place which is inside config slash app.php. Every service container class generally has two different methods. One is register, one is boot. So register method is only used to bind things to service container. As I told you, every service on your Laravel application is registered inside service container via service provider and inside that service provider we have a register method and whatever we want to bind to service container we write inside the register method. Then comes boot method. Yeah, boot method as the name suggests it will be available only when the application is ready application is booted so registering events listeners route everything you want to do something then you can do on the boot method so this is the simple overview of service providers but let's now dive into our vs code and see the real application working so what we know is like when we go to the bootstrap app.php this is the class application class is initiated so if i go to this application class and at the top where we have the constructor we are binding service provider or we can say we are registering service provider so here we have just three basic service provider but if you go to register configured provider now you can see it says app config provider so let's just die dump this one and the server is already started so i will go here on the chrome and one thing i will do like this so if i refresh i have 25 service providers but where these service providers came from so these service providers came from this config so let's just undo all these things and close this application.php and now we will go to the config app.php inside this app.php if you scroll down 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 and down and down and down you can see we have the providers list and 25 providers so from 140 line to 161 will become 21 and then 4 plus will become 25 so these are the service providers which are loaded on that application uh, on that uh, uh, function here we have this so these are service providers for Laravel application you can see illuminate illuminate all these are written here and every service is delivered via its own service providers like auth service provider broadcast service provider cache service provider database service provider so every service has its own service provider and along with that you can also register any package related service provider but you can add service provider for your own application and this is available inside app providers so now let's go to app 
and providers. So here are five basic service provider given. Among that, this boot, uh, broadcast service provider is commented, which we can uncomment when we are using the broadcast system. So every, as I told you, every service provider generally have two method, register and boot. So in the last episode of service container, we know that if we want to bind something to our uh, container, we can simply say app, then bind, and I will say hello, and this will going to return hi. Very, very easy steps. So let's die dump app, and we are resolving it. So I want the hello, so let's go refresh this page and I got high. Why? Because I have binded this to our application. So if I uncomment or actually uh, if I comment it and refresh, it says hello does not exist. But it's not like we need to register things on the web.php. No, we can register this on our service provider. So as we know, we have an app service provider, which is our application service provider. So on this register part, we can say app, bind hello and returning hi so again on the web.php we can say die dump of app and let's make hello and with a capital h yeah this is very nice and if i refresh again i have a hi if i comment this from our service provider and again same error so you have seen how easy is to add or remove service providers or binding. So every service provider is used to bind something and binding occur on the register method. So what if I have this here, but on this app.php, I will say comment app service provider. Now this app service provider is not going to load when we request something. This means this hello is not going to register on our service container. And this means dying dump this will give, give you error. And if I refresh, we got the error. And if I uncomment it, we are having high. This means this is the place to register service providers of your application. And that's very easy. And there are various service provider for different applications, but you can create your own service provider. How? It's very easy. You can see PHP, artisan, make, and we need to say provider. Then I can say uh, test service provider. So test service provider. And it says hello does not exist because again, we need to comment it. We have removed that. So let's run once more and provider is done this means inside providers we have a test service provider and now i can paste this here and uncomment on the web.php and you know that we have not registered this test service provider here so we will get error like this but we can add it so app slash providers and then comes test service provider like this this means now if I go and refresh this page, we have the high here. This means now hello is registered on our service container. And that's the beauty of creating your own service provider. I've also explained you that every service provider has a property of differing or differ. So we have a list of all the service providers, but what I'm going to do, let's do one thing. Uh, instead of dying dump hello, I will say die dump of app. So if I go here and refresh this page, you can see service providers are 23 service provider. But you know, we have a 25 service provider plus one more because test is there, test service provider. 26 has to be there. But if I go on this cache service provider, you can see it says implements differable provider. What that mean? Differable provider means this provider is not going to load on every request. This is only going to load when you, when the request need this service. 
so if i go here and if i try to search cash i can find on deferred service provider but i cannot find that on inside service providers so currently we have 23 service provider registered for this request but now what i'm going to do i will use that cash so i will say cash get abc which is obviously not going to get anything because we don't have any cash but we are using the cash service because we have called the cash service if i now request you can see we have 24 service providers and this means cash service provider is again added and now it is not deferred this means if you use it will be added to the request otherwise it will not going to add it so if i again comment that 23 once more so this is all about service providers how you can use it why you need to use it service providers and how you can register your own service provider just like every package we have the package service provider will come here but because now level also have auto discovery of package so we don't need to register package service provider here that will be automatically added so you can add your provider here or these are the service provider of the laravel application so if you have any doubt on the service provider service container or anything just comment below or email me or you can ask me on slack channel of bitfumes we will meet in the next episode to have a new learning about laravel facades and then we will move forward on the laravel journey so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye